So that leads me to, to the very obvious point, and I wonder if it was so obvious for you. You know, when we attempt to do something for other people, we have such a neurological resistance to us because all of our objectives, all of our outcomes have to be self-initiated in order for them to be self-maintained. Mm -hmm. so, so what had you stop and step back and look at your career and go, yeah, this direction isn't for me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I agree with you so much, Stacey, that that authenticity part of goals is absolutely crucial. And because it wasn't authentic to who I was and what I wanted, there was so much resistance to it. The first hit that I got was when I became a certified financial planner, which I believe was in 2016. And the exam to become a certified financial planner is very strenuous. A yeah, lot of people the series do. Series seven or the series 66 or? Yeah, so I had the series seven, the series 66. I had a 63 as well and a 65. Wow. And then I became a certified financial planner as well. Mm -hmm. So the exam and the process of becoming a certified financial planner typically takes between a year to 18 months, depending yeah. on what process you take. Mm -hmm. I did it in six months. So I wow. studied, <laughs> decided, booked the exam and studied in an insane amount of time and took the exam and I ended up passing. Now, the only reason why I was excited was to tell my grandfather and to tell my mom. Mm -hmm. That was really the most excitement that I had. Mm -hmm. After that, I kind of got the hit of what am I doing this for? 